Hobby Warriors. Uh, today we're continuing on with our Infinity Defiance uh, painting content this week. And today the subject is going to be Jazz and her remote Billy. Uh, so she is the hacker of the Defiance crew uh, from Corregidor and uh, absolutely love this miniature and her remote. Um, the, the cat frame is super cute, um, but it's also a relatively easy color scheme. Um, primarily, I was able to do this mostly with contrast paint. Uh, so let's get down to the hobby table and get started, and I'll show you how I got these done. All right, hobby warriors, we are down at the hobby desk. And I'm just showing off Jazz uh, after she's been primed. I use Vallejo Gray Surface Primer mixed with a little bit of white acrylic ink. I also primed Billy the same exact way. Um, but to get started, we're going to go ahead and paint all of the red on both miniatures with Flesh Terror's Red. Alright, next up we're going to use Griff Charger Gray and we're going to use this on her backpack as well as the straps uh, that go um, from the backpack looped around her shoulders. Now we're going to use Black Templar Contrast Paint to go ahead and paint her boots as well as her pistol. Now we're going to go ahead and use Gillum and Flesh to go ahead and hit all of the skin areas. Be careful with the left arm from the elbow down. She actually has a cybernetic uh, prosthetic. And then also be careful around the face. Uh, she has cybernetic implants on both of her cheeks as well as both sides of her scalp. And then on the right arm, she has a couple of cybernetic implants around the elbow and also around the shoulder. You want to try and avoid hitting those areas. Uh, we're going to be keeping those white for now.
All right, now we're going to use Agros Dunes uh, Contrast Paint to go ahead and paint her holster as well as her two belts. Okay, with Talisar Blue, we're going to go ahead and color in Billy's eyes. And, I'm sorry, um, I totally did not take that much footage of Billy. Uh, but I'm using the same red on both miniatures. Uh, and this Talisar Blue uh, for Billy's eyes, I also use on Chaz's hair. Next up, we've got Pixie Pink from the Army Painter, and I'm using this to paint the headband portion of her headphones. And now I'm going to use Militarum Green to go ahead and paint the cybernetic implants uh, that are on her cheekbones. Alright, so now we're going to do all of the white areas on Jazz and Billy uh, using Apothecary White. This is a really light blue-gray uh, color that's the perfect way to shade any white areas on your miniature. Uh, so for Jazz, I'm going to hit the cybernetic implants on her arms as well as the midriff of her shirt. And then on Billy, it'll mostly just be the front and back of his torso. Okay, now we're going to use Sunny Skin Tone from Vallejo to go ahead and highlight the skin. Uh, we're going to cover probably 85 to 90% of the arms um, since she really doesn't have too much muscle definition. We're just going to leave a little bit of recess shading uh, like in the crook of the elbow and near the shoulder. And then we're going to hit the high points of her face, uh, such as the bridge of the nose and the cheekbones just above the cybernetic implants. Now we're going to do the first highlights to the red areas of both miniatures using Evil Sun Scarlet. Uh, so we're going to start with Billy. He's finally getting some love. Uh, we're going to really highlight those ears and especially the top of the head. And then we want to put a line of this on the edges of the rest of the red armor plates.
And now for Billy, um, we focus the highlights on the top of the chest and that prominent front knee, as well as some of the higher folds in the fabric of the pants. Now we're gonna go back in for our second highlight on the red colors using Wild Whiter Red. And we're gonna highlight the same exact areas, but just inside the previous highlight, we're not going to cover as much surface area. All right, Hobby Warriors, so there they are, all nice and finished. Um, I do apologize, uh, when I was recording footage, I didn't realize that I didn't put Billy uh, in as much uh, of the footage as I had originally intended. Um, hopefully it's clear, though, that it's very simple, um, miniature. It really only used uh, a handful of colors um, and they were the same exact colors that I was using on Jazz. Um, but that's it. If you're interested in how I did the bases, I'm going to put a link in the cards to my basing guide. Um, you can go ahead and watch that for all of the details. But just super short, uh, I used the uh, Geek Gaming Scenics Urban Scatter Mix. Now, it's a uniform gray color. Um, it's honestly the only base-ready mix uh, that doesn't have a lot of color in it. So once I put it down, I went ahead and threw a couple of different colored washes over it and then dry brushed the rocks uh, to help them stand out a little bit more. Uh, but that's it for uh, this paint job. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, if you guys are... Uh, just getting into Infinity, or if you're waiting on your Defiance, or if you've already got your Defiance Pledge and you're cracking it open like I am, uh, let me know down in the comments. I really want to see uh, everyone's uh, progress out in the community. Um, if you're interested in what we're doing here, we normally post videos once uh, or twice a week. This week's kind of special as we're blitzing through all of the uh, miniatures from the core Defiance crew. But in the future, if you want to stay up to date with everything that we're doing here, make sure that you follow us on Instagram at JTS Wargaming. Um, I normally post all of my work in progress pictures on my Instagram account, and that way you'll know what's coming down the pipeline for future videos. Uh, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, keep slaying the gray hobby warriors, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.